Welcome to Design Challenges, a Digital Media Academy Certified School's Flex Learning course created for grades 3 to 5 but easily adaptable for both older and younger students. Design Challenges seeks to broaden students' understanding of design by showing them the many types of projects designers work on, from shoes to cars, from furniture to the cities we live in. Designers shape the way we live, play and work. As with all Digital Media Academy courses, students get first-hand experience putting the ideas and concepts of the course into practice. Through a series of design sprints and design projects, students take part in the exciting, creative and collaborative challenge of designing products, spaces and solutions. Your students will ideate, define problems, empathize, design and prototype in a fast-paced learning experience that reflects the real experience of professional designers. Preparing to teach a Digital Media Academy Certified Schools course is easy. Just follow these steps. Step 1. Go to the Course Overview and Teacher Guide in the Teacher Resource Module. Step 2. Open the Course Overview and Teacher Guide. Now review the course description and key outcomes for the class. This will give you a quick insight into the goals for the course. In Design Challenges, you'll see that students will use design thinking to generate solutions to real-world problems. Identify different design-related problems in their own community. Define problems and implement solutions that reflect the needs of users, customers, or stakeholders. And identify different types of design careers they may want to pursue themselves. Step 3. The course overview also includes the teacher guide and lesson materials. Lesson materials appear in the order needed for your teaching. It's likely easiest to download and print the included teacher guide now to assist in planning for each session of the course. Step 4. Review the equipment and materials you will need to teach the course. For design challenges, you will need the following for your students and for you. Access to computers or tablets with an internet connection. A screen and projector or a smart board. Specific physical materials if you do the optional design sprint in Lesson 3. Remember that it is optional. Standard classroom materials like paper, index cards, pencils, and markers for offline design and planning work. The Design Challenges course makes extensive use of the design thinking process. Popularized by the Stanford D School, the design thinking process is a versatile teaching and learning tool. Any project can be easily tweaked to reflect design thinking. In language arts, design thinking can become a part of a book talk or book trailer as students combine literary analysis with a sense of what their audiences need or want to hear. In social studies, students can use design thinking to create an exhibition or artifact that truly captures the importance of major historical events. In math or science, as students demonstrate their understanding of key content, they can design models or presentations that teach concepts to their peers. Returning to the course dashboard, we can see module by module what students will be doing. In module one, Students will see the diverse projects designers take on and do their very own first design sprint. For Module 2 of Design Challenges, students will learn how to clearly define problems and to gather valuable information from users, clients, or customers. In Module 3, students are immersed in the ideation process. As they brainstorm, they will try to be open to any and all possibilities to come up with innovative ideas and solutions. The fourth module of Design Challenges will have students building and testing prototypes of their ideas. Prototyping is an invaluable part of the design thinking process and helps ensure products that meet the needs of their audience. In the final module of the course, Module 5, students will identify a real-world design challenge from their own lives or community and then employ design thinking to develop a solution that meets the needs of potential users. In the next few videos for design challenges, you'll find support and explanations for each step in teaching this class. All the lesson materials you need plus advice on implementing the lessons will ensure a creative learning and teaching experience.